Gotta feel you, man. You are die hard. To the heart. You with them when they up, with them when they down, you with them all in between. Where are my true Dallas Cowboy fans at? Where y'all at, man? Look at them, man. Look at them. Man, they they, they started waving their hands, man. Even even my white guys started waving like that. I thought they was in a black church or something, man. They, they got the hoop. They get fired up, man. Anyway, so we're gonna do something special for the Cowboy fans before I leave, man. I, I'm not here that long, but before I leave, uh, I was praying all day yesterday and all day this morning, man. I even fasted for one hour, man. <laughs> and the Lord put it on my heart, man. And before I leave, to gather all my Cowboy fans right here in the front and to pray for y'all, man. <laughs> Y'all need to tell Jerry Jones to open that roof and leave it open all year long so the Lord can have mercy on the Cowboys. But I got a lot of H-Town boys here. Where are my Houston Texan fans at, man? Man, yeah. I, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know what happened to them last year, man. It was, but it, but, but the, the Texans, it's only been one year for the Texans Cowboys every year, man. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys, man. All right, uh, wait, I'm in Texas, so shoot, they do it big down here, man. Let's talk a little college football. First of all, do I got any Texas A&M Aggie fans in the house? Where are my Aggie fans? All right. Got the Aggie fans? All right, good. You guys good? I, hey, I actually like the Aggies now. Now, let me talk about that other team. Where are my Longhorn fans at, man? I think y'all need to get in the cowboy line for prayer, too, man. Now, y'all got a new coach, so it should be good. It should be good. Uh, I'm a West Coast guy, so I played my college football at USC. And as you know, growing up in California, especially in L.A., everybody wants to go to USC, national championships, Rose Bowls, got more NFL players than any other team in the nation, actually, uh, when they add it all together. So very uh, awesome place. But I'm excited to be here with you guys. I was just talking to... One of, one, of my, one of my guys, I was here a couple of years back, and we had a great time. Uh, we did this little tug-of-war thing a while back, so it was good. But what I want to do real quick, um, we talked a little bit about the weightlifting. Obviously, if you're going to train, if you're going to play at a high level, you have to train at a high level. And so uh, you guys obviously know how it is, or at least you've seen on TV or seen guys in their training routine. When you are lifting, you are lifting some intense weight. And not only are you lifting intensely, but you are, your diet is intense. So the protein level, the carbohydrate level, your running level, your liquid level, all of that goes into your weightlifting. So when I first got to USC, we had a new strength coach. And they had all these computerized systems for all of your weightlifting. So my strength coach brought me in, and I was kind of put together as a high school player. But he just simply looked at me and he said, if you listen to me, and you eat what I say eat, and you lift when I say lift, he said, you look like this now, but when you leave, you look like this. So here's my, my word for those who are here today, and you've been at every program, and you go to the chapel and all of that. There is some word, the word of God. It said it's milk and it's meat. And so you have to eat of that word if you want this faith to stay inside of you and grow. And so it begins to build your body, not just your body, but your spirit so you can be strong. And even though there's confusion inside, you got peace in here. Amen. You know what I'm talking about? Man, brothers want some peace. So real quick, I'm not going to get into that right now. What I want to do is I want to talk a little bit about some technique, okay? So uh, as you know, all this NFL stuff is coming up, draft, all that. They're talking about all these players and everything, all these young guys coming out. They got energy. They got speed. They're fast. So I want to talk a little bit about some technique. So first of all, uh, I'm going to need a quarterback, man. I need a quarterback. Actually, um, I've got my man right here I met for a minute. Can you help me out just for a second, man? I just want to help you demonstrate for a second. So, and, and the reason I called you up, man, and I asked you to play quarterback because, uh, man, you look like one of them pretty boy quarterbacks. You know what I'm talking about, man? Got, got the fresh haircut, man, the fresh whites, man. You know you know how them quarterbacks do it, man. They be tearing it up, man. So, so this is what I'm going to have you do, man. I'm going to have you be my quarterback right here. And, uh, and the thing about a quarterback is quarterbacks, you know, Tom Brady, all them dudes, man, they in the shotgun, they get that snap, boom, they drop back, they set up, and they looking for the first open receiver, and they got some serious focus. So what I need you to do is just hold your hands just like this right before you release the ball. Good, good. Just keep them up. Right? Yeah, that's good right there, all right? Now, 
Here's the deal. Um, I got a Division I college football scholarship to one of the top universities in the nation. I signed my pro NFL contract for a team called the New York Giants because I knew how to do one thing. If I couldn't do anything else, I knew how to do one thing. And that one thing was tackle some quarterbacks. <laughs> so since I'm here in East Ham, man, I'm going to go back and give y'all a little demonstration. Is that cool? Everybody say, damn. Say <laughs> He calling his mama in Spanish, man. <laughs> You know what I'm going to do, man? I'm, I'm going to let you put your arms down just for a minute. I, I'm not going to leave you by yourself, all right? So I'm going to give you some help, okay? I'm going to give you some help. Oh, first of all, uh, this is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Sir, right there. Yeah, you got your hands up right there. Yeah, help me out for a second. Come here, sir. Come here. Yeah, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. This is my OG right here, man. How you doing? One thing I can speak English. No speak English. No. Okay, good. Come here. Come here. Do you want an early parole? Okay, so he doesn't speak English, so that's good. Good, good. So I want you to let him know he, he has one job, okay? He has one job, one job, one more job. Okay. okay. Your, your job is to stop me from getting to him, okay? Y'all see his eyes, man? Yeah. <laughs> All right, next thing is uh, offensive linemen, they like to do one thing, man. Them dudes, you know, when you're coming at them big old linemen, y'all see them every week on TV, man. Them big boys set up, and they back up on you, that kick step, and they just like, boom, and they like to punch. All right? So, old linemen like to punch. Explain to him, I'm going to teach him some football technique, okay? Okay, so, so they, they punch, with, not with their fists, but with their hands right here, okay? So let's demonstrate this punch. <laughs> That's good. Tell him to use both hands, both hands. <laughs> tell him. Tell him that was kind of soft, man. <laughs> Tell him I think he was trying to tell him I think he was trying to fill on my chest, man. Let's try one more time. Here we go. Down! Everybody say down! Oh, oh yeah! Hey. Oh. Oh. All right. Come back, come back, come back. Right back up. Tell him it's my turn now. Ready? <laughs> okay. Okay. It, it, it seems like, see like his blood pressure went up when I said that. <laughs> Tell him I'm going to take it easy on him, okay? I'm, I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to take it easy. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So I'm going to have you grab. I want your hands to come out, okay? Uh -huh. Boom. Grab, grab. Okay. You grab the jersey. Grab the jersey. Boom. Like that? Like, yeah, that's good. They can hold though. They can hold. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> Get ready, man. We need to sign him today, man. We need to go to the combine. We got to get you out of here to the combine, man. Right. Okay. Okay. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Shh. So when the old lineman got you like this, I want to talk about a couple of moves. As you guys know, if you watch, you know football, you watch it. A couple of moves. One move. First of all, you got rip moves, okay? So rip moves, when dudes hold you like that, you come through and boom! <laughs> because of the rip, if I get to the side, he's like this, and if he holds from here or anywhere else, then it's holding. But I got a straight shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Scramble. <laughs> boom! So we go.
Okay, all right, now, real quick, real quick. Let's do this. I want you to hold one more time. Okay. <laughs> now, <laughs> but the move I want to talk about, because you got a lot of moves you can do, man, and boom, you know. Boom, you know. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Determined, man. It's kind of hard with the mic in my hand, but I want to talk about the most important move today, and this makes a lot of sense when it comes to our life, to our spirit and everything, and it's a move you see all the big dudes use. If they big and they fast and they strong, the quick guys on the outside don't like to use it as much, but dudes who got some power, they'll use a move called the bull rush. A bull rush is, I'm not going around like this. I'm not trying to use a rip. I'm not going to do a swim. Bull rush is, I line up, he in front of me, and my eyes look like his eyes. <laughs> and I'm coming up, and it's with all the power, and just boom, and we get him, it was just, <laughs> taking him straight back, as <laughs> soon as I get to the QB, to the side, boom, <laughs> and it's game time. Now, here's my point, here's my point, QB right here, right here. When I get to him, there's a celebration. The crowd is cheering, everybody's screaming, teammates is high-fiving. Why? Because I got to where I wanted to go. Man, I got there, your mama in the crowd, that's my baby. <laughs> your girlfriend like, that's my man. And everybody's excited. Coach is fired up, and there's a celebration. Everybody say celebration. celebration. The only problem that I have real quick is this. Uh, the problem I have is that the guys that I play against and have played against are not his size. The problem is the dudes that you're playing against, 6'6", 6'6", 330, 340, 360. I've seen some brothers out here about 360. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got a couple of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Them brothers, we need some cornbread, collard greens, fried chicken. <laughs> some golden